now I have a uh, bee suit right here Albert. and I have some gloves so basically this will protect me from having skin contact exposed to the bees and I do this because when I'm tending to my bees I'm sometimes I might for example want to take some honey from them and they really don't like me taking honey away from them so they might want to sting me and generally if you see a bee in the wild it's not really it's not going to try to sting you but in cases like beekeeping they might actually try to come and give me a little poke and so this just protects me from getting poked if you guys want to kind of touch and feel these gloves you'll see that they're kind of thick and so the, um, and so uh, the stinger can't actually go through it. You guys want to make your points? Well, that steam point, because the stinger is still there, it actually pumps some sort of like venom through your body. And so over time, at, the, at first you might not really notice it, but then maybe when you wake up tomorrow morning, oh, what happened? Must have been the steam. Well, which bee here looks a bit off? Which is not like the rest? It's this one, right? This one, it's been, there's a dot that's been painted on her back. If you'll also notice, she's a bit bigger than the rest of the other bees. And, and, and this is a sign that we're looking at a queen bee. Now the queen bee is very, very, very important to the hive. As Ms. Chin said, most hives only have one of them. The rest of the bees, worker, their worker bees, they could be bee, thousands of them, but there is only one of this bee. And that's why, and that's because the queen has a very important role that she needs to, that she needs to lay the eggs. There you go. That one. She is responsible for giving birth to the bunch of the worker bees that you might see out on flowers. And so what she'll do is, uh, can I have a Would you like? Uh, a cell. A cell? So she'll, um, so on one of these frames, I mean, a bee hive, you might find this hexagonal pattern. And then inside one of these, she's going to lay an egg. And now, um, the egg, initially when she lays it, it's super, super, super tiny. It looks like this little thing at the bottom. And over the course of three weeks, that's 21 days, the, um, uh, the egg will develop into a larva and then into a full bee. So, um, and yeah. That's how most of the bees are normally born. Um, but there's actually a third type of bee that isn't a queen or a That's correct, actually. Um, let me get back to what I said. Um, there's a third type of bee that isn't the worker or the queen. And as someone mentioned, it is the drone. Now this is the boy bee. The queen and the workers are girls. But the drone is a boy, and what the drone will do is that it will help um, queens from not only its own hive but other also other hives give birth. So a queen will need some drone in order to be the amazing bee that she is, that's able to give birth and basically help sustain a big colony. So yeah, all right.